Hello students, let's continue our discussion about heat transfer. And to do that, we're going to do another brain pop. Before we get to the brain pop, uh, I do want you to make sure that you do read the section in the textbook. I have posted the page numbers to the weekly agenda. Uh, and there's also some notes that you should copy down as well on heat and thermal expansion. That'll help when you, we get to the brain pop so you'll understand some of the topics a little bit more. Okay, so let's go to the Brain Pop website and I'll show you what you're supposed to do. Okay, now that we're at the Brain Pop website, all we have to do is just type in heat and we select heat transfer. And here is the Brain Pop that we're going to use. Ooh, a new one. And here it is. So just like the others, the first thing you're going to want to do is to make sure that you watch the movie, right? This one is only six and a half minutes and it's pretty good. It's a little different from the others that we've done. Uh, the other thing that you're gonna want to do is you can take the quiz and you have a couple options for this. If you do the, uh, the review part of it, it'll give you some feedback or you can do the graded. It doesn't matter which one that you do, that one is completely up to you. Um, the other thing that I would recommend is that you do some of this uh, related reading. So there's not many here, there's just two, right? So there's one over here about different gadgets by metallic strips. There's some things about different types of thermometers. And then we've got some famous faces on the other side and you should recognize these names because we've already discussed those a little bit in the past. The part that you're going to turn in for this week and it's related to the movie, so you might have to play it more than once, is the Make a Map. So if we click on this Make a Map, and it loads, we have this blank space that's right here. And what we want to do is we want to make a map that links the keywords, the keywords right over here. And these are the keywords that you can put in uh, to this section. So how do you do that? Well you have these different uh, text boxes with arrows. You can make them uh, different shapes and then you can move them around and then you can link them together uh, and you can also edit them and uh, change the color and you can put these different words that are in there to show how these different terms go together. So once you're done with that, uh, you can print this just like you've done in the past. You could save it as a PDF uh, or you can, you can uh, save it as a screenshot when it's done and that's what you're going to turn in for this brain pot. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions and I will see you online.